Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users before World on how to show our transform manipulators when they might have disappeared. So here I have a brand new scene. Let's go ahead and create a piece of geometry. So I'll just come up to create polygon primitives and let's do something like a cube. Now, when I have this cube, I'm going to hit five to go into my shaded mode here. Now I have this cube here. Now if I wanted to move it around, I can select my move tool or my rotate tool, uh, my scale tool. But if we notice, we're not getting the manipulator to show up here in our scene. So let's take a look in our other views. So I'm going to come into this little icon here to open up my for view. And what that's going to do is uh, show me my perspective view as well as my top view my front view and my side view. Now if we notice in these other per, uh, other camera angles, we're able to see our scale tool. If I switch my rotate, we can see that. We can rotate our cube around. Uh, similar with the move tool, we can also move this around. We can see it's moving here in the perspective view as I move it around in my side or front views here. So why isn't our uh, manipulator showing up here in the perspective view. Well, there's actually a little uh, uh, area that we can go in order to enable or disable this manipulator in any of these particular views. So we'll find that under the show menu here. And down at the bottom, we'll have the ability to turn on or off the manipulator. So if I turn this on, we can see that now I have my move tool as well as my rotate my scale or any of the manipulators um, that we may need for uh, here from the toolbox. Um, but if we notice here in the top view where uh, we don't have our manipulators in here. So anything that we adjust here in this show menu, we notice that each of these different camera views has its own show menu. So these are independent of each other. So if I wanted, say if I wanted in my front view to turn off my manipulators, we can simply come in. I'm going to click this little uh, dotted line here in order to tear off this menu so we can see a little bit easier. So we can turn off our manipulators here. And as we can see, it's turned them off only in the front view. So it's really helpful. Um, and if we want to come in and make changes in one of the views, just to very quickly um, check something, if we if, say if these were kind of getting in our way, we can turn off the manipulator and we can come in and turn them back on very very quickly in this show menu. So we can see I've gone ahead and turned that back on so we can see our manipulators in these views. Now another uh, way that we can adjust our manipulator is actually by using the plus and minus keys on our keyboard. So if I hit plus we can see it's going to make it larger. If I hit minus it's actually going to make it smaller. So we can make this uh, really really small but it won't completely disappear. It's just going to be really really small. Uh, we can just keep hitting plus in order to make it larger again if that ever happens to us. Uh, but that's a look at how we can re-enable the manipulators that might not be showing up in our camera view by coming into the show menu and making sure that the manipulators option is checked. Now if you want to learn some more ways to navigate around the Maya interface, check out the Beginner's Guide to Maya 2011 course.